Do not doubt your ability. You see, the biggest killer of dreams is doubt. When you don't believe in yourself, you start to doubt your abilities. You begin to wonder if you are as great as you think. You start to question every move you make, every step you take towards achieving a task. You begin to second guess yourself. You're not sure if what you will do the next minute is actually going to work. Don't let doubt keep you from achieving your goals because you will not do anything if you fail to recognize your capacity. It's about time you shift your gaze and started looking or focusing on positivity. Build a positive momentum with the mindset of believing in yourself and your ability. Self-confidence is super strength. Once you believe in yourself, you would do everything better. It isn't much you can do if you do not trust yourself. Trust me, surround yourself with people who believe in you. Find great mentors, teachers and coaches who will keep you accountable and remind you of your greatness. You must be willing every day to put in the work for your dreams. You must believe that you have what it takes inside of you, even if it's just one talent. You see, doubt kills more dreams than failure. It causes you to be stagnant. Instead of doubting your abilities when you fail, pick yourself up and work hard to correct it. Stop being pessimistic about what you can do and be more optimistic. Once your mindset is positive, you do more exploits because doubt can constrain you from doing much. You must learn to inhale self-confidence and exhale doubt. They say garbage in, garbage out. It's a real thing. You take in doubt, you manifest disappointments. You take in self-confidence, you manifest accomplishment. The most beautiful thing you can wear, they say, is believe in yourself. And I agree absolutely with it. Life is not too easy. People talk and words can get to you. But as long as you have confidence in yourself, you'll be fine. With confidence, you make way for yourself to do exploits and with doubt, you restrict yourself from doing extraordinary things. Doubt would only hinder your abilities. So open your eyes to see all the great things you can do. And the one person that needs to believe in you is you. You lose when you doubt yourself. Take that step, believe in your ability and see what happens. Think of yourself as a child. You do not understand a child's ability if you keep restricting the child due to doubt. Your feelings in fact affect the child and so you must put on a fierce face. Show yourself how confident you can be and watch how you can attain everything. With doubt you lose before you even start. But a confident person goes ahead and conquers twice and more. What holds you back is who you think you are. Win the battle in your mind, realizing one's potential is the first step to doing great things. Now, let me tell you more. Doubt is like a voice. It says you can't do it, but keep doing it. And it fades with time. On the other hand, once you give in and lose faith in yourself, you never know what you can do. You get stuck in the circle. You accept defeat and fear. You give in to the slight setback and become stagnated. Sooner or later, those who win are those who believe in their abilities. 
Man often becomes who they think they are and what they can do. As you think in your heart, so are you. Don't stay fixated on negative momentum. Shift your focus. Open your eyes. Open your mind. Doubt is actually normal. But what isn't normal is dwelling in doubt. So believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Because you are a winner. And each time you feel that doubt coming into your heart, you must speak back to it because it is a spirit. You see, just as you hear convictions that tells you to do something, so it is with the voice that comes with doubt. It speaks continuously and wants to hammer each word by pounding and saying words like you can't, you won't, you haven't, no one has done it. It is never done in your family. You know, these words, when you give them attention, they magnify themselves and become albatrosses to those things you would have loved to do. But the moment you see them as personalities speaking to you and you respond to them by speaking back and telling them, no, you can. Yes, there is no one that has done it before. But I can start off because there is always a beginning of a thing. Those voices would naturally fade to oblivion. When you turn back looking for them, you will never see them. You see, the giant called doubt is so large. And the more you see it as so mighty, you will never use your sling and a stone to bring it down. But the moment you speak to that giant called doubt and tell it the who are you before me, be it a mountain, it definitely will respond. You see, people always would bring doubt to you when you decide to speak up on what you intend to do. And so many times in order to deal with that, you must learn not to speak up of what you have in mind. You just begin. Let others see you do it. And there are some that are so brazen that they can come face you and wonder why you are doing this because it doesn't look like the norm. This is the time to learn how to speak back to them by telling them that you are not conform to norms because you choose your path. You see, those that think outside the box are those that do not allow the voice of doubt to speak to them. They speak back to it because they know at the end of the day, when they win, they become the highlight of everybody's discussion. Doubt can come, but choose not to allow it to grow on your mind. You see, they say birds make nests, but you could choose not to allow them make the nest on top of your head. And so it is with doubt. Kick doubt out of your mind and believe in yourself.